Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We're trying to get our hands on a stolen toilet brush, which is being used to baste kebab meat, which when you think about it is absolutely gross. Now, uh, last time out, we spoke to our friend over in this bottom corner here, the kid, I can't remember his name, um, and we gave him a red ball in exchange for his help. Um, he gave us a phrase to say to this guy who was using the toilet brush as a way of getting him to give us the toilet brush, but that didn't work. It actually just annoyed him and he chased us off. So what I want to do is go and, you know, confront him, I guess. <laughs> like, have a go at him, see what happens. But uh, Lyle was saying maybe he actually took the toilet brush as well. I don't know. Maybe he did. He, he doesn't seem like the type of kid who would have done. He seems like he's a bit of a con artist, but we shall see. Let's um, speak to him anyway and see what he has to say for himself. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? Mm. But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. Oh, Lyle was right. Well done, Lyle. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. <laughs> the ends justified the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line. True. Though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. <laughs> All right, well, we got it. Ugh, it looks disgusting as well. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Toodle pit. Well, I guess he wasn't that bad after all. I mean, he did kind of help us out. He just didn't fill us in on the plan, which is, you know, kind of weird. So Lyle was right. Yeah, he, he did swipe the toilet brush while this guy was distracted with us. So there we go. <laughs> I was really angry with him. I was going to go and have a go at him. But um, maybe I was jumping the gun a little bit there. So let's go. So do we just give it back to the owner, I guess? Here's your toilet brush. Here's your brush, sir. Yep. It wasn't we do. easy getting it back. What did he give us? The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, ah. and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, bah, look at state of this. <laughs> Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my you bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. Fair. All right, so we've got the keys then. So I guess we can just use that on here to unlock it. If there isn't something amazing in here, I'm going to be disappointed after this long quest of puzzles. Uh, it looks like just a normal, <laughs> ordinary bathroom. Oh, it's one of these things. I remember these in school when I was a kid. Like the towel that would, like, go round. And we used to just, like, basically pull the towel the whole way around and then the janitor would have to come and change it. <laughs> Can we do anything with this or is it... Okay, nothing's really happening. Let's try it a couple more times just see if, see if we can do what I was saying. Doesn't look like it. Alright, uh, let's look in the mirror. Okay, again, not really a lot going on there. Uh, okay, toilet. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, okay, can we flush it? Oops. Oh, did we break the chain? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Why have we got the whole mechanism there, <laughs> including the tank? What the hell? It was the short length of chain I'd taken from the toilet of the Club Alamut. Okay. I wonder what we've got to use that for. Uh, so we can't I use the toilet. I haven't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Okay, is there anything else in here? I feel like we've got to do something with this, because we can still interact with it. If it was just like a little jokey thing i would imagine you we would have just pulled it once and it would have stopped okay i don't think there's much else going on here uh okay can we i don't know can we use an item on it no doesn't look like it uh can we like use the keys to cut it or something or maybe we can he's heading over there 
Oh, we opened it. I see. There was a key to open up the box. Right. There didn't seem much point in closing the dispenser. Probably true. It saved the guy a job. So we've got a towel. There's a length of coarse grey toweling from the toilet at the Club Alamut. Okay. So we've got the toilet. Can we put something down the toilet? I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Okay. Can we, like, maybe put the towel down the toilet? No, we can't. Uh, can we reattach this anyway? No. No. Okay. Right. Well, we'll head out. We'll try and figure out what we've got to do with these items then. I'm not really thinking of it. And this is something to do with the cat, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, does this guy have anything else to say? We need money, don't we, as well? Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Uh, do we want to say that to him? Do you want to look at look this? what I've got. The towel from the toilet. What do you want with towel? Well, I don't know yet, do I? Yeah. You sure a funny bod. Run around, collect things. Yeah, yeah, true. I've got the chain as well, look. What does this toilet chain mean to you? You got brush back so you could steal chain? You sure strange cookie, mister, yes? <laughs> Should we... What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Najo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. Yeah, how did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. <laughs> I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. <laughs> so we need money. There's no point asking him this yet, is See you there? Around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. And you too. Um, so we need to figure out what we can do with this chain and this towel. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's got to be something to do with the cat, right? That's the only other thing we've got here is the cat. Uh, cat, do you want this lovely towel from the bathroom? No, he doesn't. Do you want these keys? Sometimes cats like keys, right? Do you want this chain? No, he doesn't. Uh, okay, well. Uh, oh, we can't actually speak to him now. Can we get in the way of his game of throwing the ball? <laughs> no, it just goes straight through us, fair enough. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. Okay. Uh, it's got to be something to do with the cat. It's got to be. So the cat jumps up there, right? Can we... Can we, like, attach... So the cat jumps d down. This makes the dad come out, but he doesn't do anything. Ah. The ball... I see he's throwing the ball at the door, but obviously once the door opens, the ball seems to bounce along here. So perhaps we've got to get the cat to go up there, hit this, and then the ball bounces. Ah, I was going to say nothing's happening, but that fell down, whatever that is. Where did that come from? Was it on the shelf or was it... It wasn't on the table, was it? What is this? The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall. Chipped with both arms broken off. Okay. Can we, like... Hmm. Maybe not. And we can't clean it. Hmm. Maybe not. Can we, like, scrape at it with hmm. this? Maybe not. No? Oh, we can talk to him now again. Maybe we needed to do Hi, that. Joe. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Uh, this thing fell down. May I have this statuette? It is broken after all. Certainly. And when my father deals with that feline for breaking it, you can have a Davy Crockett hat as well. <laughs> Alright, uh, do you know anything about this towel? Hmm, maybe not. No, okay. Do you know anything about this chain? What does this toilet chain mean to you? Are you building a bathroom in easy installments? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want these keys? Do you recognize these keys? No. 
Uh, okay, fine. Uh, did we try shaking hands? Here, shake hands, Nijo. I'd rather not, sir. Okay, fine. Don't. So then. long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Uh, so. The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall, chipped with both arms broken off. So we're keeping the statue. That's fine. Um, what happens if we like? Does he just come out? Yeah, he does. Okay. Where did the cat actually go? I wonder I if we've got. I come a... all this way to seek out curios. There's like nothing else. Wait, what's that? Why did that make a cat sound? I think the game thought the cat was still there. I I think the game thinks the cat is actually there. Yep, it does. <laughs> it thinks the cat's still there. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, um, so where did the cat run off to then? It went this way, right? I can sort of still hear it. We can't leave, can we? I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Okay, fine. No. So can we do anything the with this? The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall. Chipped with both arms broken off. Okay. Uh, can we... Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe not. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Oh, okay. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Can we like? Oops. Okay. Not like that. Hmm. Maybe not. No. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. No. Okay. Maybe not. So maybe we just needed to make it look like marble then. Maybe let's go back and speak to him now. And see if he's got anything to say. It's weird that the cat thing stays there, honestly. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Uh, about that statue. Uh, that is not a good idea. <laughs> okay, fine. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. So maybe we've got to like show it to one of these guys. That that could be a thing, right? Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Likewise. Uh, do you want a statue? What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, not that. Just what I've been looking for. Ah, are they going to buy like? it? Would I ever. I'm not carrying the money, though. If oh. you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. <laughs> I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Are we going to con them? I, I kind of feel bad if we're going to con them, honestly. They seem like nice enough people. The wife is a bit suspicious, but they they seem like pretty nice people. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? It, I mean, in a way, I feel like if we just asked them to borrow the money, they would probably lend it to us. They seem like decent people. Conning them into paying for a fake statue that we've made it seems really unfair <laughs> but what do you think of this good gravy looks old yeah i had to turn this town upside down boy your legs better than ours looks roman i wouldn't know what will they say back home how much do you want george oh i couldn't it's the find of a lifetime i mean 50 bucks take it convenient <laughs> I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. All right. Money, Dwayne. This will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Oh, I feel really bad. I feel really, really bad. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. They're such decent people, and we've just basically conned them and robbed 50 bucks. <laughs> And I'm sure that if we just said to them, you know, have you got 50 bucks for a taxi, we'll pay you back. Then they probably would have gone, do you know what, cool. 
But now we've turned into con artists in typical adventure game fashion. But you know what, guys? We're out of time. So we're going to speak to Altar here and potentially use his taxi service in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fencer Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.